All right, Deshaun, another day in the books here at Adidas Nations. Tell us a little bit about what this experience has been like for you so far. Uh, it's been a great experience, you know, just coming out here, you know, uh, showing – uh, people, what we uh, what we what we got, you know, extra stuff to our game, and you know, counseling the high school, you know, that's very that's good experience, you know, because you know they uh, trying to get to the next level where we at, and we also we trying to get to the NBA level, and, you know, letting them know what it takes, you know, and how hard and dedicated you have to be to uh, play at the college level. Now, as you mentioned, a lot of really good high school players here. Is Coach Mana kind of sent you here to be a recruiter as well as working on your game? Uh, you know, all coaches do that, you know. So, you know, they uh, recruit uh, some of uh, high schools out here. They always say, uh, shout out a word, you know. But, you know, college coaches try to do anything they do to uh, make their program better. And, you know, I, I just laugh at them, you know, and just, you know, just try to get the, the players, you know, who are uh, getting recruited by Coach Mott and them and just tell them it's a great campus and, you know, just choose, your, uh, choose the right school, whatever you want in your heart. Tell us a little bit about what this offseason has been like for you, especially getting going into a next year without Jared Solinger where you're going to be expected to carry a big load. Uh, just just play my game, you know, and uh, just keep getting better each and each and every day. And, you know, try to come into that role as a leader. You know, last year, you know, I really wanted that kind of leader. I was that, you know, spark, you know, you know, role player, you know, do what I had to do to, uh, for my team to win. But now, off this offseason, just getting better and, you know, trying to be the leader I can and just uh, keep working hard and keeping my game step and step at the next level. Now, without Jared Solinger, of course, the public expectations are going to be a little bit lower for you guys. But how do you feel about that? And what do you feel like the, the potential for next year's team is going to be without Jared Solinger, who was a first round pick in the draft? Uh, I, I, yeah, I know the public, you know, it's going to be kind of low. But, you know, it's been like that for the, when Jared was there. You know, they didn't expect us to win the Big Ten, you know, our freshman year and, uh, my, of course, this year. But, you know, it just, it's just going to be going to try to play our, our style of basketball. We got players that who can fill in that role, like Amir Williams, you know, can fill it down the paint. Uh, Evan Ravenel, we got uh, LaQuinn Ross, good athletic wing scorer. So we're going to be real talented and we're going to surprise a lot of people in, in the public.